Hello and welcome to the 365 Project. Hello everybody, welcome. It's Wednesday, it's day 227 of the 365 Project. The daily episodic vlog showing one man's journey into the unknown. Little tagline. But no, as you can see, we're already out and about. It is still technically the morning. Although again, this snooze is creeping into, into play a little bit. Got to love a bit of snooze. And I had a little bit of an earlier night last night than I did the previous night, so keep an eye on that. But yeah, it is Wednesday and it's horrible looking. Oh yeah, proper grey and miserable, but according to the weather, we're not looking to get any rain till this evening. So we've got the bag, didn't bring water in my haste I forgot to get water again so if you want a top tip when you're about ready to go set off doing your walking and you think you've double checked double check again because <laughs> if you forget something you'll be sorry top tip from a top guy that's me but uh, yeah we're on the on the track chasing the steps down Sam T, special mention. Nice little effort over the last couple of days, Sam. That hasn't gone unnoticed. I understand you've been away on holiday marching about and stuff, so long may that continue. Keep up the good work. Oh yeah. But other than that, your usual suspects in and around the top, Heather, and me, which is all right. Again, Dave and Dale pushing good pace, as I see. It's going to be a tight finish, I think, lads. It's going to be a tight finish. But speaking of top guys, got a birthday shout out. Mick Ellison. Hello, mate. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a great day. I don't know if you're at work or whatever today. You probably will be, but um, all the same. Hope you have a great day, mate. Everybody likes having fun on the birthdays, right? Hi, did he? But the hunt for steps continues. We've left the house, we've walked up, sort of along to the subway by the park, under the subway, through the other side where the kite flying exposition was the other day, that mental mad thing. And um, yeah, up along to Greenfield School. We've just picked it up there as we've come into the tracks. And we're heading this way, through the tracks, possibly all the way through Round the golf course again. Stepwise, we'll see what we need to get. 10 to 12. What are we on? 5, 7, 5, 5. Not too bad. Maybe it's an hour and a half worth of walking, I think. That should get it done. So, yeah, we're going to chase the steps, get it done like a boss. More top tips coming, <laughs> so stay tuned for those. So I was reading this morning apparently that scientists, I don't know why I did the inverted commas on scientists because they're actually real people, but um, scientists reckon that eating breakfast before exercise burns carbs faster. After scientific tests, they found that people that ate breakfast before they went and did some kind of physical activity burnt more. So there's a top tip, via a top guy, by some scientists, because I'm a top guy. <laughs> well there you go, breakfast, I didn't have any. So the reason for that being was I ended up eating when I got home from work, so <clears throat> conscious of calories. Remember back to a couple of days ago, saying about prep, and then I was saying about cal like effective time management, prep and then the will to want to do it. So we're cutting out the first one here. This doesn't really got much to do with time. We're still going to go out and walk anyway, but yeah, having known that I already ate before I went to sleep last night, my calories are already a little higher than what they would be. So I skipped breakfast. I identified that, uh, especially last week, my calories per day was like well above. That dog's huge. Size of that dog. Um, yeah, it was well above my sort of threshold level. 
being 1800 it was like 2200 plus kind of thing so I'm taking the necessary action to try and ensure that my calories are back to levels below 1800 and if that means I'm not having breakfast it means I'm not having breakfast but we left years before we went through the wooded area around by Greenfield through Barley Park took a left walked around through that wooded area oh, getting there's a squirrel see it don't know if you've seen that but um, yeah around Barley Park took a left all the way around the Bluebell Garage under the subway right towards the big staircase ran up there and now we're walking on this path behind me heading this way I'm not sure what we like for steps. Let's check the steps. Remember, 11,000's the target. Nearly 8,700. Yeah. So we're gonna come down here. I don't think we're gonna go through the second wooded area. We're just gonna hang a right and sort of curve around the inside along the path where the new houses have been built. Back to the wooden way roundabout all the way back down past the top of burn lane and back home i think i've kept up a good pace though i've kept up a high pace the only regret is that i didn't bring water and i'm a bit thirsty never forget people the importance of water very important <sighs> so thirsty might be a little bit windy but unfortunately i can't control the wind I can control what I do with my time, effectively, and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, we came out of the woods, hung a right, didn't go through the next set of woods, we hung a right, oh hello. Nice, nice, well there you go, there's target hit, tick it off the list, Merc watch on point. Yeah, we uh, hung a right and then a left and sort of walked around the inside of the woods along the path up to Wooden Way, straight down up towards Burn Lane and now we've crossed over and we're heading straight down past the Sem, back up towards home. Work Creek Hustles are looking strong, kept a high pace, the only thing that's let me down is the water. Ah. Should have brought water. Not to worry, I'll have plenty when I get home. Calories are being maintained at a reasonable level. My word of the day, I believe, for today is optimism. Because I believe I've managed to kind of bring it back a little bit from how I've been recently to how I have been all year. And all year I've been seeing sensational results. So I'm optimistic barring an absolutely killer weekend that uh, we'll lose again on Monday. If I can get it underneath 14 stone, I'll be absolutely ecstatic, like. Absolutely ecstatic. Might need to go out on the bike, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I know Stacy, hello Stacy, sister, subscriber, was inquiring about swimming as your timetable has now recently changed, so there could be scope for a little bit of swimming action going on. Damn! <laughs> um, factor that in somehow if we can. If not, bikes and stuff. That's basically where we stand. Whew. Been a quick pace like. That would be my advice, top tip. You want to be effective with your time, get a move on, hit your steps ASAP, rest the day is your own. Top tip from a top guy, that's me. <laughs> so here's a bit of inception, Mick. We're clipping and Snapchatting at the same time. It's very confusing. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed it, Michael, because this one's for you, son. <laughs> this one's for you. We'll send that in a second. Let's get in and get all this stuff off. <laughs> Why have I never thought of that before? It's like Snapchat Inception. Snapception. I've just made it up. I've just made it up. <laughs> oh, this is mint. <laughs> Can't wait to end the day. Ugh, but that we have. We have ended it. We are home. The pace has been high. The sweat has been flowing. The only thing that I'm lacking is a drink, which I'm going to go and get now. But uh, we'll do a step check on it and see what we finished up on. 12, 4, 8, 3. Yeah. So awesome. Oh, man. Send that Snapchat. There we go. But yeah, quick pace. Knees feeling much better. No, not as nowhere near as sore as it has been these last couple of days. And um, yeah, nice quick pace. Full of optimism. Controlling calories, controlling water. Effect effectively using time. Oh, we've got mail. Um, another day ticked off the list, people. If you feel like. I'm giving you sound advice or pointers or whatever. Drop me a like on the video. If you feel like I've done incredibly well since the start of the year and uh, the results are inspiring you to make a change, drop me a like on the video. Well, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Stay active. Above all else, keep it real. Oh, I don't like the look of those letters. <laughs> Wednesday the 15th of August 2018, day 227 of the 365 project and we've kept up a quick pace today, the highlight reel showing our images of our journey out today and it's been a quick one, yeah it's it's been good to just be able to get your head down and get striding and, and open up your legs and get your lungs going and all that kind of good stuff, <laughs> I just didn't take any water with me which is a rookie, rookie mistake kind of over emphasize the importance of water if you can drink as much of that as possible you're going to see enhanced results so be sure to bear that in mind calories also is important you can't outrun a bad diet so as long as that's all under control as well and you've got the willingness to want to get out and get your steps in and chase them steps down and hit your targets then success will follow i feel very I don't know what the word is really to, uh, to kind of describe how, how I'm, I'm the point I'm trying to get across, but my sort of personal results, I didn't think I'd be able to achieve anywhere near along the lines of what I have done. I knew that I would see big losses, but to be at the position I'm in now from where I was at the start of the year is nothing short of amazing. So if you want to get involved in it, be sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode.